Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Tips. I am Jacob Gudain. I am going to look into motion lower thirds and final cut presets. That's a mouthful. Anyways, uh, basic pro the principle is that you can take a project from motion and then export it into final cut. So you have all your fancy uh, things happening in your lower thirds, but you can change the name in final cut. Let's hop into a uh, motion project that I got sent from a graphics designer. Let's see here, let's start it up. It really isn't that hard if you already have the project, so to say. Open up motion, there we go. I'm gonna remove the background, there we go. And this is simply gonna pop in and say, yes, Mountain Bach, which was the show. I am gonna remove the leaf. There, that's all I want, boom, good. Basically, this is all I need to do. I, if I have the project, I just need to open it uh, and make sure I don't have anything in the background. Any backgrounds will show up as well and then it will ruin everything that you're supposed to be doing. You want the clean uh, black background, you want all of your things showing up in the timeline and empty, ending there. There. Uh, so if you have those, you're good to go. Motion is a very, very creative program. You can do almost anything in it, but it takes time to learn. And that's a different video. So you go up to file and instead of save as, you go into publish template. Push that one and it says uh, template name, new template. Never call anything new template. Also, there is a save preview movie, which means you can scroll over it later on. Always click that in and uh, publish as Final Cut generator. That's the key. And we're going to name a new category called Say tech tips. There we go. Create. And we're going to call this uh, lower third. Ida. There you go. And then you simply push publish. And it'll generate it. There we go. Always look for that spinning wheel somewhere. There you are. Writing lower third and movie. If the sequence is longer than your actual graphic, your thing is going to be quite long. Your graphic bar. But we'll see. So we created that. And if I go into movies here and go into motion templates, I should be able to find it. Here you go. So in motion templates, in, in movies, motion templates, generators, and here's the folder we called tech tips, and here's the little folder called lower third EDA. Now, here's the kicker. If I'm going to share this or use more than one computer, I want to take this folder and put it on my hard drive together with my project, because that's my graphics package. If you don't, and you send this hard drive away to someone else to export, it'll come up as missing files. Then you have to go back, find this folder, send it to them, have them put it in exactly the same spot. That way your computer can find it or your other editor can find it and put it in their computer folder system. Now, let's hop into the actual final cut. And let's see if it worked. All right, open up the sequence there. And up here in the top left corner, there's something that says T and generators. There. There's the generators. There's my tech tips. There's my lower third. If I scroll, there it is. Look at that. It's right there. Let's put something underneath first. Yeah, grayscale. That'll do. And my tech tips and my lower third. Put it on top. There we go. Here it is. And now here's the, here's the reason why we do this. If I push this, go into text, I should be able to change this like so. And compared to other editing softwares, you can just toss in a new one and it'll still be the first text. The original doesn't change when you change the text in the copy. There, see, there's E that's not mark. Here is tech tips, bottom. So now we have actually generated a template to use inside of our editing software so we can have our graphics packages inside Final Cut and just pull it in. If I'm doing all the exporting, I'm doing everything on my computer like this, it's fantastic. If you have a show with guests, you just simply take this, push the button, change the name of the guest, and Bob's your uncle. Super handy. It is, the only part is, if you're sharing your uh, hard drive with somebody else, 
and you didn't transfer it, it will show up as missing file. That's the only issue. Other than that, super handy trick. Uh, I hope it helps. If you have any more uh, requests for any tips in editing, if you have anything else you would like to look into, if I did something you think I should have done another way, either or, I am happy for uh, you to contact us, so leave a comment. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe so you get all our new videos and all our fun content. And like us. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we enjoy you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.